Hello and welcome to a very curious place. Uh, I'm not even gonna try and explain my hair. <laughs> and yes, it is still wet. Um, so anyway, <clears throat> videos for the week. I'm gonna try and crank out as many as I can right now. So that's why I will probably be wearing the same shirt in all of them, just FYI, like last week. <laughs> okay, anyway, <clears throat> still have a little bit of a tickle in my throat can't get rid of this raspy thing and the little bit of cough I don't know what's going on with that Jack in the Box was out of coffee so Sonic and yes this is coffee it's it's iced coffee I realize I have a problem <laughs> so anyway on that note <coughs> um Movie review for the day, for the week. <laughs> this is a movie I started a while back and then I kind of just pushed off and I put to the side. Let me open this a little bit. Oh, there you go. And I kind of pushed it off to the side and I haven't really been, it hasn't been high on my list of movies to watch. Um, Train to Busan. Um, I know, what is it with me in movies with, you know, uh, subtitles but it is a zombie apocalypse movie <laughs> I uh, I kind of watched like the first like maybe 20 minutes of it and then I kind of just shut it down and said oh wait Walking Dead's on um, <laughs> and, and went and watched that so but I did finish it last night <clears throat> and I will say this and I, I I'm there may be spoilers in this so I will put that in the, the warning um, it is got to be the saddest freaking zombie movie I have ever seen in my life I mean, <coughs> it, it just it just is there is constantly it's just it's sad I mean this the ending is I, I honestly I I've never been the type to tear up at a zombie movie because I mean let's be honest they're zombie movies um horrified yes you know ew that's gross yeah that those are normal reactions and crying not normally something that happens now if there's an animal that dies I, I got a little teary in the walking dead when the horse died um I, I, you know, but <clears throat> for the most part, I don't get real emotional when it comes to like zombie movies. I don't even get grossed out. <clears throat> Not anymore. Um, but it honestly, the end of it had me tearing up a little bit and I was just like, are you freaking kidding me? It's a zombie movie. Why? I mean, it, after I got more into it, it was not bad like I thought it would be. It was, the beginning is very slow. It starts out really slowly. <clears throat> <clears throat> the beginning of it is basically a lot of temper tantrums from this guy's kid. Um, you know, to the point where I'm just like, you know what, grounding. You know, ground, grounder, take away the toys, something. Just you know, because I mean, the, his kid whined a lot in like the beginning of part of the movie, and I'm just thinking, if this is the entire movie, oh no, you know. <clears throat> but you know, I mean, it after it got going, it got a little better. It was one of those where it teaches you a lesson. Because throughout the movie, the, the guy's daughter started out, you know, just, she thought so badly of him because he worked such long hours, he was never home. <clears throat> well, you know, I, I understand, you know, he wasn't there, she wanted him to be. She was little, <clears throat> you know, but he's doing what he thought was best, you know, to, to keep the family going, you know. He's a divorced dad, mom not only divorced him, but apparently moved really far away. So, I mean, you know, 
and so that's what it started out as is just talking about their life showing like little pictures into it and you know and stuff and how he misses a lot of stuff and how he misses you know her recital and so on and so forth and you know so that's why I wasn't really into it in the beginning because it did start off very slow so be prepared for that it's going to start off slow <clears throat> now once they got on the train um it started to kind of pick up. Sorry, I think I had chicken nugget in the corner of my mouth. <laughs> I ate before I did this. Um, so I'm not eating on the video again. I'm, I've ate before. But anyway, um, so once it gets onto the train, it, it starts to kind of pick up. And I mean, there's, there's this one guy on the train Oh my God, you just basically go the entire movie and really just want to punch him right in the face, like repeatedly. I mean, he is just terrible throughout the entire thing. <clears throat> and, but it starts picking up, especially, you know, when, when the zombies come into play and then you find out, you know, what caused the zombie stuff. And I won't spoil that. I won't do a big spoiler. Um, but, uh, <clears throat> and there's the twist and the turns where they're, you know, they, they get off the train and it's like, you know that old saying, never get out, get, never get off the boat. You know, they should have listened to that. Don't get off the train. Um, but they got off the train and then they got caught with, you know, a whole ton of zombies. So they're all running back to the train. <clears throat> and, uh, so it just kind of went from there and. And it's their, you know, their progress to try and go from one station, and that station doesn't work because that station's overrun and run. And the purpose is they gotta get to Busan because Busan is the only one that is fighting them off. That is the only area that is managed to fight back the hordes of the zombies and make a stand. So they have to get there if they want to live. <clears throat> and it takes you through the entire train ride, or and. <clears throat> and actually you're they actually get off the train a few times <laughs> it's just like it's like twice they, they're off the train train at least twice and it's like you got off of it once why don't get off the train <clears throat> but anyway so and the zombies in this one like in world war z and in you know um the last one we talked about, Ravenous, they're not the type of zombies that, you know, they're hunting people down to eat them. They're just hunting them down to bite them and infect them. So, after they infect them, they don't seem to have any interest in them. <coughs> but these have a really kind of cool issue. Um, they, they did something cool. I, issue. What issue? I don't know. Bleh. Um... <laughs> These have kind of a cool thing that they, they did with these. If it's dark, they can't, and they can't see you, they, they, they can't see you. They, so they kind of lose track of you and they kind of just wander. <clears throat> so they go off sound. So, like, there were several times that they went through tunnels and it was dark. And so the, the zombies would lose track of them and they'd be just like, oh, okay. So they could sneak away. They could throw something in the opposite direction of where they wanted to go. The zombies would automatically run to that and they could get away. <clears throat> and I know much gesturing with my hands today. Um, so anyway, um, there was also the fact that in one part, the zombies were like beating on the glass door, which they had glass do doors dividing the trains. <laughs> and um, train cars. And so this woman had the quick thinking. She threw water on the, door, on the door and then slapped some newspaper pieces on it. And oddly, if they can't see you, like actually just directly see you, they stop. And so when she did that, they stopped and they just kind of started wandering. <coughs> so, you know, it, uh, it was, it was an, a neat little twist 
some little twists there. I, I really like that. That one was new. And there was a couple times where they just basically threw stuff over the zombies' heads. So the zombies are just like, what? What happened? Where do people go? What? What? I was going to bite something. What? And it's just like, they're just, and you're actually looking at the zombies. The zombies like going, turning its head back and forth. It's like, wait, what happened? <laughs> so that was a neat little, a neat little twist on there. Um, it does have subtitles. I know. I, I, the next one I watch will not have subtitles. <clears throat> so, um, but I know it, it, it was, it was an interesting thing. So, but like I said, the ending was like super sad, but it did have that fast paced zombie thing that a zombie movie normally has. It's real fast paced, you know, real constant go, 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 go. And, uh, you know, and it had the, the, the chase and the thrill and stuff like that. So that was great. If you can get past the first part of it, the first part was slow. But if you can get past the first part of that and you get past the subtitles, it does get better. But just be prepared because if you're a person that like cries at sad movies, you are going to bawl at the end of it. Um, so like I said, I don't normally get teary eyed at a lot of stuff. And I, and I started to tear up. Um, <clears throat> But, you know, so I won't tell you how it ends exactly. I won't tell you, you know, little twist to it. I won't do that. But, um, it is sad. Um, but it, it does have, have a good, a good lesson in there. The little girl learns a good lesson the hard way. Um, you know, <laughs> hey, we're on a train with the zombie apocalypse. That's, that's the hard way. So, um, you know. But, you know, it, it does have that. So, I mean, it's, it's not a bad movie. I think it's, it's another one of those one and dones. I don't think I will ever watch this movie again. But, I liked it. So, I mean, I wasn't, I liked it more than Ravenous. <laughs> like that. I liked it more than Ravenous. I gave, think out of 10, I gave Ravenous 5. I think I'm going to give this a seven maybe a seven and a half on a scale of one to ten so yeah let's give it a seven and a half <clears throat> because it was a good movie and it does it did it kept you on the edge of your seat after the beginning a little bit once you hit the train then it starts getting interesting um but before the train you know not so much not so much but you kind of do need to watch that first part to kind of understand the situation of what's going on so just kind of push through it and and just kind of kind of watch it and push through that um it will get better <laughs> it will get faster but it did it had that fast pace go 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 and it was good so i i will like i said i'm gonna give it a seven and a half so, you know, I, I would suggest watching it. Like, again, if you like zombie movies, it's a good one to pass the time. It's better than Ravenous. So, there is that. Um, can't think of much else to say about it. I'm not even going to try and tell you the names of the actors because I can't pronounce them. Um, and I would just, I would do terrible things to their names. So, I'm not even going to try and go there. <laughs> Um, I did like the actors. Um, they were very good. Um, so, can't think of anything else that, you know, you need to know about it. Um, just kind of give it a look-see. You know, if you like zombie mo movies, you like horror movies, um, eh, something good for, to watch for the night if you're bored. Anyway, and on that note... Much love for Monty in a very curious place. Stay strange, sweeties. Bye.